Warm welcome from the Argentine capital, Buenos Aires. We are at the El Monumental, the home of River Plate. And here we have Real Madrid against Valencia. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Begley. Hi, Peter. Always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. the lineups for this game We're underway. Sergio Ramos. Tony Kroos. Modric. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. was venomous it's a long forward pass he goes long tried to play it through the idea was good though Peter and I like the run that triggered the pass but the quality was the problem Gaia Perejo Looks to slip it through. Aim forward. Bell. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Perejo. Nani. Gaia. Tries a through ball. Good strong hand by the keeper. Well, that's where he wants it. Perejo. Casemiro. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. He's off on a marauding run. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Rafael Varan is now in the last chance saloon. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Montoya. Now here's the through ball. Tony Kroos. Suarez, if you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Now the cross. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Spoon forward. Rafael Varan. Modric. Looks like a good ball through.
Parejo. Now the pass. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Daniel Carvajal gets good distance on it. It's going to be another throw. Coaxed out to the wing. Nani passes it through. Casemiro with the ball through. Tony Kroos spreads it wide. Bale looking to get on the end of this. Up to meet it! Good delivery, no joy. Real Madrid had players queuing in the box in that situation, and they've still got nothing to show for it. What a complete and utter waste. Parejo. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And it's Parejo. Parejo. There's a lot to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Benzema. Can he get through? Tries a through ball. Bale. The referee's awarded a free kick. Tony Kroos looking to play it into the box. He went for the curler. Gaia. Parejo. Hoists it high, well positioned to make that interception. Now it's Nani, Gaia gets into a good position. Well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Yeah, they had lots of options in the box there, they've got plenty to chew on at the moment, but no bite. Tony Kroos tries a long pass towards the front. Benzema showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Mario Suarez. Nani. Now it's Nani. And it's Suarez. Lobs it in gently. Daniel Carvajal pumps it upfield. Great save, that was not easy. Well, that's the kind of break that can do a lot of damage. And the referee brings the first half to a close. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. Start of the second half. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? A little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Yeah, I think the problem there was that the pass was, was telegraphed. An easy read for the defence. Parejo. Gaia. Parejo. Deftly done. Diving header! Sergio Ramos tries to get it forward quickly. Benzema. Rodrigo. Great challenge. Rodrigo with the foul. And listen, when you've got somebody of his calibre in your team, then your chances are always pretty good. And they've gone one up again with such a super, super goal that sets them up perfectly now for the rest of this second half. Dispatched expertly, nicely done. Oh, what a hit, Peter. You just can't do anything about that. That's genius.
Deadlock broken. It's 1-0. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. And it's been taken short. What a throw in. Bale absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. You have to admire a commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team. Marcelo battles to win it back. Parejo. Everything they would have spoken about in that dressing room during the break has a greater chance of happening thanks to the early goal. It's the perfect platform now to go on and, and try to win it. Benzema unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. And that's well defended. Mario Suarez. so far Jim there's a lot of football still to be played Peter so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavor well played he saw that coming and back to base Neto gets it upfield throw it there's going to be a change here there's a man waiting to come on Isco going full tilt down the left. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Montoya cuts it back. Off the post. Looking to shoot. Back of the net. Valencia are back in business. certainly made things interesting. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. Looks like a good ball through. A chance! Good clearance and very necessary. And that's another throw. Bale is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. The home support won't enjoy that. Well, maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. Tries a header! Boots it to safety. Parejo. Charges in. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Aimed long and direct. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Out for a throw. Enzo Perez. Still anyone's game, this one moment can decide it. It's a very open game and an exciting watch. There are no signs of nerves or, or caginess from either team. This pitch is go for it territory right now. Enzo Perez. Who's going to make this theirs? 
Isco needed to come up with a better ball. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. Parejo. Now it's Benzema. Can he find a finish now? That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Yeah, it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen. Ultimately, the numbers prevented him from scrambling it in. Parejo. The final seconds now. Now the pass. Looks to slip it through. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Oh, it's gone in! Oh, it's terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a, to a loss of focus. Well, he's used to making headlines for all the right reasons, but he's about to get a flavour of the other end of the scale now. Valencia, their final change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired... And his time is up, and there goes the whistle. Real Madrid have held on. A knife-edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. Real Madrid leave it late. But in the end, it was great. Well, this looked like it had a, a draw written.